In this video, I want to talk about the process of making an outline for a video, which I think can replace many of the, uh, the other old processes like scripting and storyboarding and can help us get started and create a video that, that works well. So uh, this is a, an outline that I created for the entire video workshop, uh, including the outlines for these individual videos. I made that uh, with a software called XMind. And uh, this is the out part of the outline that covers this video that uh, I will now cover here. Now, uh, let's talk about the process of creating an outline. And uh, uh, there are basically three steps, and this is quite natural for most people, but I find that some people maybe are a bit lost about how to go about that. So, so I'm just going to quickly address some of the things that I think are important in the process. And there's brainstorming, creating a structure, and then chunking that together into what could go, for example, an individual slide. So the brainstorming process is, is well known, uh, but ask yourselves questions. What do you want the audience to know what, or be able to do? What do you know about it? What are some common questions that people ask? And just make a list uh, of those. And uh, if you um, are quite used to this, you can already start doing that in a structured way, but some people just prefer to just brainstorm that list and then in a separate step, uh, put these things together, group them in a way, in a sort of hierarchical structures, and then it flows, like what are the top line things, what are the elaborations, what things belong with each other, uh, and so on. And then finally, uh, you want to go and uh, take the outline and chunk it into things that fit together on one slide or maybe one, one topic. Uh, and to that you can make a list of related images, graphics, and so on, and that can also be part of that outline. Now, uh, what are some of the tools that you can use for creating an outline? And of course, there is uh, nothing wrong with using pen and paper. Uh, there, there are great tools for outlining, and many people like, like to use them, use sort of draw mind maps or sort of concept maps uh, like this. But unfortunately, uh, I am not one of them, and I think many people are kind of in the same boat. They now prefer to just use a computer for everything. And then here, I think the easiest tool is simply just use Microsoft Word, and you can create these sort of uh, nice little sections, there's even a navigation pane, and I've made some other videos elsewhere that show you how you can use Word as an outline. If you want to uh, uh, basically simply create an outline like this, then you can copy it into a PowerPoint and um, with uh, that start creating slides directly from here. So that's the advantage of using Word is that that can go into PowerPoint. And then if you create these little section headings using the heading styles, then you can use this navigation pane to much more easily navigate around the outline as it gets bigger and bigger. So that's right there in Microsoft Word. Uh, now, uh, you can do other things there with Word that I don't want to necessarily go, go through in all detail, but it's then easier to, to move things around. So I definitely recommend spending some time learning how to do that. Now, I prefer to use uh, an, a mind mapping tool for my outlines. This is uh, my favorite program is XMind, which is free. At least it has a free version that has all the necessary features. So this is the outline here, and it kind of comes out here in an outline form as well. I can copy that into Word, copy it into, um, into PowerPoint, and then just start creating my slides directly from that. Another outlining tool that some people prefer is an online uh, outliner called Checklist, and there are many, many outliners out there. So this is just the one that I've, I've used a little bit. And, and this is a, a, just a simpler, simpler outline tool, uh, but um, it's easy to share the outlines online with other people. Uh, now, it's important when you're outlining, don't focus on the tool and learn the tool in a way that sort of disappears um, from you know, the in interface and the using of the tool kind of becomes second nature. So it's just, there's no barrier between your mind and, and the work in the same way that when you're drawing or writing, there's no barrier there. And I find that uh, learning how to use the, simply the tab key to actually uh, out, you know, to move around in the outline, to create a hierarchy in the outline, and then shift tab, go back to the other level, is a very important keyboard shortcut that most people don't know about, and it actually makes the outlining process much quicker. So learn the outlining tool well, and then uh, once, you've, once you've done that, then you can, um, I think, just focus on the content of the outline. There are some other shortcuts, such as Alt, Shift, and Arrow keys, where you can up and move things up and down uh, in the outline, or left, or left and right in the outline structure. Again, uh, I've made other videos that, that describe this in more detail, but certainly uh, keep in mind that there are some ways to make your outlines much quicker without having to spend a lot of time on uh, figuring out the interface and sort of fishing around with a mouse and looking at different things. So, so that's something that I definitely recommend you spend some time and uh, develop those skills. So now that we have our outline, uh, let's 
talk about how we can create a PowerPoint from it. So that's going to be the subject of the next video.